What's up everyone? It's Mirik Abundance and today I'm going with everything in one video and I'm going to keep it as short as possible uh, but yeah we will see how you guys also enjoy it. Please let me know. I live off of your feedback. Um, I do not feel like the very short one or two minute ones are a little bit boring. I don't know. I might do another poll as well for you guys so you can vote what you like best. I'm going to start off with a comment then what I ate a year ago and then what I eat now in full recovery. So this question is from Serene and sorry the, these are the church bells. <laughs> I live next to a church bell. Uh, next to a church. And um, so Serene Vayain, love the name and that was a rhyme, I wrote, and by the way, if you don't want your name to be mentioned uh, when you ask me a question in the comments, then please just specify it, it's no problem at all. I just assume that it's okay for me to mention you and you also might like it as, yeah, as because you just commented it publicly. So yeah, just don't want anyone to feel like they're trapped just because I mentioned them publicly. So, hi Miri, just watching your video. I'm not sure if you answer this or not as I haven't finished watching, but my question is about salt. Do you have any control over it? I suppose you do eat, eat it. Has it affected you in any way? So no, I don't control it in any way, shape or form anymore. Um, you will see also throughout my what I ate um, in a day videos from last year, um, how I challenged salt for me because I also used to have uh, I was also afraid of salt um, because it also affected me very much when I was still in pseudo recovery in quasi recovery and um, I will say my thoughts has it affected you in any way so now that I'm in real recovery it doesn't affect me anymore at all like I don't feel or see any difference in my body or mind or whatever like at all zero nada I feel I have a lot of water retention due to it. Yes, I have experienced that as well, especially in the beginning of introducing it again and especially when I was eating the cleanest and the healthiest and the whole foodiest and um, like uh, also high carb and fruit and stuff. I have kept it as low as possible, but mentally I keep craving it. it was the same with me. I feel you. What, and you should, you should listen to that. Would the water retention stem from the fact that as I'm high carb, low fat, the majority of my calories come from carbs? Um, so yes, carbs do store water and that's a good sign. So I mean, I, it has to be done and it's also good, like you need carbs in order to be fully hydrated. And uh, water retention itself is not always a bad thing because you want to be hydrated, right? You don't want to be dry and dehydrated. And so yes, it can be. And so I'm not an expert on this. I mean, everyone knows it, but I can just speak from my own experience. And I do think that you can have an imbalance, especially when you're super high carb or actually no matter how you eat, uh, you can have an imbalance in the electrolytes. And um, I think that is especially the case when you're really watching your salt intake and really afraid of eating any salt at all especially refined salt then the body will adapt and it will kind of be shocked anytime you actually eat something with salt and so I found in my experience ever since I've eaten salt like I've, I've paid no attention at all to salt um, I've just had no like weight changes or, or water retentions anymore after some period right after some time because first you know my body reacted to it but then it just it was like the electrolytes balanced themselves out again i think when it has not enough salt the body that's how i explain it myself um it tries to just draw on and keep everything and store everything as much as possible once there is salt coming in and yes, theoretically, we don't need added refined salt because there is sodium in all of the plant foods and blee blah bloop, you would say in German. But the thing is, um, it doesn't mean automatically that added salt is bad. And I think it's all about the balance in the electrolytes, how your body responds to it. And just because your body now responds to it, um, 
like it seems like it's bad for your body or it doesn't want it it might just mean that it doesn't have enough or there's some kind of imbalance um so you ask further i know carbs in themselves are not fattening but could it be that having salt added would make me puff up yes it could be it, it was happening for me as well but only in the time when i was watching my salt intake so much um yeah and also i think it has to do with maybe not eating enough and also when you're eating only carbs and no fats and stuff like i think that there's a whole different scope of factors that can come into creating an imbalance or is it more to do with how my metabolism 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 functions or my caloric intake yes so i think the last question is spot on i think i, I personally would um would tend to this kind of scenario where the salt itself is not the problem at least you know not in normal forms of course i don't go and eat a salt shaker i mean <laughs> everyone knows i'm not talking about that but um I think it all has to do with how healthy your metabolism is, how good it is and how able it is in uh, or at balancing stuff, minerals, but everything, also hormones, because salt is also involved in hormones and adrenals and stress and the whole homeostasis in the whole body. Um, and so cal caloric intake does, does mess a lot with your metabolism and then, you know, Hence, it can also mess with your salt responses physically. Would love to know your thoughts. Yes, so I hope these thoughts were helpful. Ask me below, Serene, if you have any more questions. Okay, let's go on. In what I ate a week ago. And please give this a thumbs up or down. It's your thank you to me for my work. I do these videos daily. It's a lot of work and I hope I can keep it up for you guys because it really is a hard thing for me. Um, also, I want you guys please to tell me how you like these videos where I just do everything in one video because yeah, you guys say how you want it. So, um, this was, yeah, one year ago. You see this, yeah. Basically the same thing that I had every day. I mean, it was a new thing for me. I enjoyed Having breakfast with my husband and I enjoyed the coffee with him because that was I didn't have that before at all and that was such a new thing for me and I just We celebrated it pretty much and this is with plant milk again So I kept challenging that I kept keeping it in but you know at the same time I wouldn't have such a big uh, cough, like such a big, big cup anymore because it just takes away space and I feel it messes with my eating disorder in full recovery because I just want, I'm not going to join in in anything that it wants me to do anymore. I'm just going for challenging. I'm just going for stuff that it hates. <laughs> well, of course, yeah, I still, you know, I love the fruit and everything, but if, if there's something like, um, you know, I, I, I just won't fill up my stomach with fluids or stuff, even if there's calories in it. So, but that was a good start, but still there's, you know, very little milk in it, very little plant milk. But yeah, I was really enjoying this new... It felt so liberating because I felt I opened up more to going to, to a cafe with a friend or something, which I just wanted to be free enough to do. And so this, yeah, is fruit, it's berries and orange and banana. And you see the oats I made with a whole lot of milk and I guess also yogurt on there and soy flakes. I challenged that one because, you know, adding milk or plant milk to my oats always seemed like, my D used to say, it's it seems like such unnecessary calories and we just save them. But well, no. So I deal with these, as I, as I keep saying, keep saying it, um, it's the first steps and it might seem like not much, and yes, I'm still um, bullshitting myself here and keeping myself very much comfortable a lot of other times, but without these first steps, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am now. So I think we have to see both sides. 
and I make it very clear that this is not real recovery that I was doing here. Uh, yes, going through the pictures. Just pause it if you want to look closer. Okay, so I had a snack and woo, it's a date, a metal date. And I love metal dates. And I mean, yes, you will see throughout the year of what I ate last year. Like I also had phases where I went into the whole fruit only thing again and also tons of dates like a meal of 15 medjool dates like huge dates and um it's like i love them i love them very very much but you have a problem if you depend on having those only as a meal because you're afraid of food combining and fat and um afraid of eating anything not pure and clean and healthy and whole foody enough so that's a problem but yeah i i challenged this here because it was a snack right so i challenged not only having meals there and so this is my lunch there's kind of the, the toppings are nuts and seeds and soy flakes so added fats and stuff and there's also a mixture of cacao and carob it looks like and then the usual banana ice cream. I'm not going to go into this one here because I have been in plenty other videos. You can watch all of those. Um, also, if you're joining in this whole series anytime, also 10 years later, use these videos to watch one every day so you can just recover with these videos also and, and, and challenge things. I also have a playlist where all of the what I ate a year ago are in one playlist and a playlist where all of the what I eat now videos are um, in order for you to watch chrono chronologically. So we keep moving, keep moving. So this is dinner or this was dinner. You can see, you know, it's a it's a salad a plate of salad and uh, you know tomatoes and stuff and then there's also sweet potatoes with soy sauce which you know was the salt thing also i was i was challenging that there and then like a tofu potato mixture and then there's a huge dip of hummus and or avocado like that was some kind of fat based dip yeah, I challenged a lot here, still, you know, very filling, very vegetable uh, emphasized and just, yeah, still I was challenging the added fats here, but everything very whole food, but I'm guessing that this is something that my husband made, it might have oil in it, um, so that was also a huge fear of mine, as you guys know. Yeah, was very afraid of that then. Now, if I had it, I would be so like, there's no fear at all. It's like, whoa, this is so healthy. It might even be too healthy for me right now. You know, and always when I say that, it's only mentally, right? It's not like I love all the healthy stuff. I just use every opportunity now to challenge myself and go against everything I heard from the ED voice throughout my whole life. So let's go into what I ate exactly one week ago on Sunday. And this I had before breakfast. It was the rest of the tofu scramble there. And uh, just because, you know, I was so hungry already <laughs> and but uh, we wanted to have some special breakfast, but I'm hungry. And so of course I will eat something before. I'm not waiting until, you know, it's mealtime or something. It's, I'm just going to eat. And if it's five minutes before, and that's also very important for my recovery. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what is on the table. There's like different kinds of buns and pretzels and there's cream cheese, there's some bacon bits. There's also th basically the things that were in yesterday's video. Um, what uh, you know, what I eat now video. Um, also the omelet that my, my David <laughs> made for me and the the pancakes you know um just kind of things that uh, we prepared yesterday and then there's also the 
butter and there's some coffee with a lot of milk and there's carrot juice oh and there's um kind of um yeah not fried but like a like roasted mushrooms also so you can see on my plate what i put there as well yeah this is butter <laughs> Um, I put the butter there, yep, just weird lighting. And so this is the omelette that I also had on the bun. These are the mushrooms. And it seems to have been like just some kind of, yeah, it was just half a bun that was uh, like as a rest of yesterday. And um, that's what I had first before I had anything else. There's cheese. I'm um, sorry for the lighting. I think I will add also some flesh. Yes. So you can see here the same things I had before. <laughs> There's the Kerrygold butter. Um, I actually defroze it there's also pineapple and i had some pretzel here with butter of course and the kerrygold like if you have good butter it's so tasty you have to try it i know your brain tells you that it's disgusting and awful it's not if you have good butter it's not and a pretzel with butter was one of my favorite foods in my childhood yes I had carrot juice, we had that from some carrots, we made that freshly and then later I had some chocolate, it's the one from Aldi, it's salted pretzel, it's super yummy. Yes, pretty much half of the thing, <laughs> half of the whole bar and it's a 200 gram bar, yep, very yummy. Then I had some cookies, the Hobbits. Uh, these used to be one of my favorite uh, cookies as well they're kind of like digestives but very very yummy and then I had some special beer again some craft beer my husband also had one and that's special for me because I always used to be the one who didn't drink any beer and I don't like the taste of alcohol but if it's made in a in a good way I do like it and um, yeah it's just you know I just try to I just shut off my brain and I just go for it and say well why not I'm gonna try <laughs> it was not my favorite beer you can see here this uh, kind of the fishbone thing and it's meant to show you that it's a strong beer and it actually was a strong beer it's actually as you can see here it's eight percent volume and it's like well yeah not my favorite beer but i enjoyed trying it with my husband and so this was dinner it's like a gnocchi it's kind of potato noodle thingy i love the consistency it's a whole a whole pan full of this meal you see here with vegetables but also quite a lot of oil um it tasted super yummy and i felt great after it i don't believe that it's so bad for you and yep super yummy and so filling and it's just it's not right that the body doesn't know what to do with oil it's just it's just nonsense really i also added some uh, soy yogurt and some cream cheese as well and that was in the night i woke up i was hungry i knew i wouldn't fall back asleep without having eaten something and so i ate something i had this muffin on the bedside i have different things on the bedside and i go for what i want most then so yes that's it please vote thumbs up or down and i will see you next video bye